Hello. Right, um, shed build is going to take a break for a while. Not long, just about a week, because I've got other stuff to do, because we are only, I think it is, I don't know, we're not long away from one of our eggs hatching, which is the, uh, if you look down in here, the white egg, uh, this end, in the middle, is our um, special egg, which, uh, miracle egg, which we might keep, don't know yet. Um, but that is the egg that uh, I bought from the farm shop uh, as just, it wasn't fertile, I didn't know it was fertile, it was just bought as a pack of six locally produced free range eggs. And that is not far away from hatching. So what I've got to do down here, I have to actually build uh, a brooding pen because after a couple of days of them being an incubator, you have to get them out, get them away from the other ones uh, and put them somewhere else with heat, but not as much heat. Um, so I've come home from work, it's been busy, really busy. Yesterday uh, I was in Oxford filming for um, ITV for Alan Titch Marsh's uh, Love Your Garden, which will be fun when that comes to air. I don't know if I'll be on telly, I'm sure I will, because I did say that I will be on telly, because the summer house we were building was probably the focal point of the garden. Uh, and they did a lot of filming with me. Didn't actually get to meet Alan Titch Marsh himself, uh, met the other guy David, and uh yeah nice bloke so should be on telly so we'll see but what i'm gonna do now is get this knocked up get it out of the way i'm waiting for the um, ceramic heat bulb uh, which should be tomorrow off amazon or the next day i'm not sure but i'm gonna get everything ready for it uh, i've got some plastic in the van like a very fine plastic film which i didn't want to make it out osb but i want to keep it as cheap as possible because at the end of the day it's to house chickens or ducks or ducks and chickens or one duck i don't know so I'm going to crack on with that now, uh, get that done before dinner time, fingers crossed, and hopefully it looks, looks all right. So it's going to have four sides, the base, uh, half the top or third of the top is going to be covered in um, uh, OSB board and the other two thirds is going to be open with chicken wire. And I've got a glass panel, which if I feel like it and being very intricate, I might actually cut in a window as well. So, um, well, just get on with it now. A list of people that we would take a bullet for them a bullet for you a bullet for everybody in this room but they don't seem to see many bullets coming through think that'll work i've got to make a lid for it but um it's a bit crap but it'll have to do yeah i've got to knock up a lid for it which is going to be uh not solid lid it's going to be probably a third is going to be ply board with the ceramic heat bulb on this end so they can move in and out to see which if they get too hot they can move out here and this is just going to be chicken wire on this side uh so yeah I better knock that lid up and then i've just got to wait for the heat i'll put like a bit of timber for the heat lamp drill a hole uh but i can't do that because i've got to wait for that to come from amazon so i'll um do the rest of it and then uh, that'll do for today so if they do come early i've got some kind of box to plop them in but i'm hoping it don't but literally i don't know that do even harder to say when you know it's not true Even harder to write when you know that tonight There were people back home who tried talking to you But then you ignored them still All these questions they're falling Like who would you live for? Who would you die for? And would you ever kill? Oh, 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 oh I'm falling So I'm taking my time on my ride Yeah, it's not too bad. 
costs nothing, so that's pretty good. And uh, apart from the time, because I seem to be working later and later and later, and it's doing me headed. But um, yeah, probably give it a lick of paint, maybe, I don't know. So I've just got to wait for the heat bulb, for the heat source. Uh, as like I said, I've got this sheet of uh, plastic stuff in the van, which I might line the inside with, because uh, apparently they can be quite messy. And uh, I don't want to be changing them every five minutes. So yeah, I might do that. Uh, a few little cosmetics that I need to fix on it that are not working properly, but um, enough's enough. Yeah, so pretty much ready. I've got the gravity feeder and the water containers all good to go and some chicken crumb feed stuff for it. So uh, just gotta wait for it to hatch now. See you later.